Well, would you look at that ticket? We're doing the last seaside today. And boy, is it going to be fun. I'm not going to lie, I don't... What the hell? I see. How quaint. Literally wouldn't have been able to do this if not... Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Yep, yeah, I mean... Yep. See? Perfect. I like how I had to dash to get up here. Waste of time and space. Because now I won't be able to dash anywhere else. Oh, jeez. That's one that's going to be fun. <laughs> Hell, let's be honest. This entire thing is going to be very fun. Alright, let's see it. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's see it. I had enough of falling through little spike uh, spike chimneys. What am I, St. Nicholas? I had enough going through little spike chimneys before in the other one. Okay, I need to be lower on that one. Makes sense. This might be one where I go for, uh, possibly having edits. Now I will feel like a bit of a cop-out, because I didn't do that in any of the other ones, and I didn't need, well, <laughs> aside from the half-hour special, maybe I should have, maybe, maybe I didn't need him, and, um, Debatable, but whatever. It'll get there, alright? Um, unfortunately, I don't have any other saucy things to talk about. My life hasn't really been complicated since the last episode was made. Uh, and generally, nothing's not... Nothing's really going on. Um, let's see. Uh, actually, interesting happenstance... Uh, I, I, I go to a public college, which of course means it's run by bureaucrats. You know, unlike any other college. <laughs> but, um, they're, they basically, one of the jokes my coworker is that they turn half the dorms into admin buildings for people that do nothing to get paid to sit in. Um, I don't doubt, but, uh, one of the consequences of that, and honestly, they, they do kind of just, they're trying, they're trying to make as much economic use of the land they have as possible. They're making another building in the middle of what used to be like an entire half of a parking lot, which sucks for the people who used to park there, but, you know, what do they care? They're not administrators, so. Um, oh jeez. So, yeah. The one negative consequence of that, though, is that apparently we no longer have enough dorm space for incoming students and, like, a reasonable amount of people to live here other than incoming students, right? So, of course, that means that all but two dorms are reserved entirely for incoming students. Yay! Unfortunately for me, I didn't really know that. And I don't know if it really would have mattered much if I did, because like the hour housing opened, those dorms were full. <laughs> so my little self with no means of transportation is going to have to live off campus next next year. That's great. I'm really hoping that the job I'm going to get uh, over the summer pays a whole hell of a lot, because, I don't know, it costs enough living on campus. Now I'm going to have to, like, cook my own food and everything, which I honestly prefer a little bit, but it's still going to suck, sort of. Just a teensy-weensy amount having to uh, live off campus. Because, again, I have no means of transportation, and I do some things early enough in the morning that the buses aren't running, 
And the buses don't run every day. God, I want to say the buses were down like the whole first week. Um, I don't know. I don't actually know, but it, it seems like the buses are down a lot. I know. What am I supposed to do when bus down? It's very funny. Ha ha ha. Okay. That's a new one. So, you can see it really hasn't been a long time. Um, my skills have not improved. I uh, am doing very well at playing game. Right? Well, that's also a new one. What the heck? It almost seemed like I got a further dash that time. Was that a product of momentum stuff? I wouldn't have been surprised. I have, this game does not surprise me anymore. Um, well, does it? I guess kind of, sometimes. God, that sucks so much. Because I know that if I try and counteract that, I'm going to end up running right into the spike wall anyways. So, yeah. Come on. Ooh. Wonderful. Uh, this is going to be so fun. I love those bumper things. I did not get enough of them in Golden Ridge. This is my... This is the... This is it? Actually. Or is that reflection? I guess it was reflection. Okay. This is my favorite combination, actually. This is the greatest combination of elements from the last two levels I played and had so much fun in. Um, we've got the spike walls that instantly kill you from, um, well, I guess even Celestial Resort and Summit, right? And we've got the fun bumper things from uh, Golden Ridge and Reflection. Because we just love to, we, we love those. We really like it. You can see how much fun I'm having right now. And this is only the second room. Yep. That was not good. Yeah, I'm, I might actually edit this. It's not like we have some jamming music in the background. God, that sucks. I think the intention... Okay. I think the intention once we do get to the bumpers is to have them have me bounce off the first one directly into the second one and then dash immediately. Uh, that's going to be so fun to execute. You're going to see me fail at it so many times, but you know, you're already seeing me fail at this so many times. Evidently, that's entertaining enough for you to keep watching. How pathetic! Your taste in your taste in videos is terrible. What are you doing here? All right, let's see if that happens. It doesn't. Basically sums up my Celeste playthrough in its entirety. Let's see if that happens. It doesn't. Wonderful. Hum. I've been attempting to make plans with a friend of mine for a little while, right? That's been fun, and they haven't come to fruition. But it hasn't been that long since I started making, trying to make plans. So, I mean, it's all fine and dandy. Ah, oh, god, that thing sends me so far. Yeah, I really have nothing else to talk about, I'm not gonna lie. I might just stop talking so that I at least have the option open to me to edit some of these runs out um, in post. But then, of course, I'm not going to have fun and interesting commentary on the rest of the video. Why would I do that to my loyal and faithful viewers that are definitely watching the videos that I put out consistently? Because I definitely have anybody that consistently watches these. Yes, sirree. Did not mean for that to happen. You know, they kind of wibble wobble back and forth a little bit. And I don't know if that's what's screwing me up. Let's see here. Crap. Can't the crystals come back sooner? Quicker, I guess. I feel like, what, sooner is a specific measure of time, whereas quicker is a measure of speed? If something happens soon, then... Anyways. 
I'm not gonna Jesus. This is this is what I reach to. This is where I've reached at this point in time. Hmm. Sooner or quicker? Yeah. Sheesh. But hey, at least I don't actually have to do that thing that I was saying was gonna be so fun to execute, because that would have been so fun to execute. Uh yeah. Okay, here we go. Or not. Hey, we did it, guys. I saved it. I did not save it for very long, though. Alright, that is not too bad. And I've gotten this down into a relative consistency. Sort of. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let's just see if I can at least get... I might could have um, jumped down there and I might not have died. No, I wouldn't have been able to actually pull that off. I don't think that's even a question of execution so much as not being like actually able to do that in the game. Maybe. What else? Oh, actually, I got the Skywalker Saga. Lego Star Wars the Skywalker Saga. Pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. I literally have only done like the first actual level in episode 4 as as of right now and there were at least two times the levels the levels are relatively short there were at least like two or three times that I was like really laughing it's pretty funny yeah ah god this game what a gem I almost, well, probably not. I keep forgetting how important momentum is in, you know, this. You know what would be really funny that I just thought about? So, this game, I think it was a mixture of those two sound effects that just happened. But it sounded like a little bit like um, my roommate putting his key in the door and turning it and actuating the lock and then opening the door. Um, while I was talking, right? And I was about to, like, lose my marbles because my roommate comes in on my Celeste playthroughs way too often, right? Oh, oh okay, good. Um, so yeah, I was about to have a, such a fun time. Uh, this is gonna be great. Okay. So just jump on that. Um, go over... Yeah... But can I dash? No, of course not. Well, I guess I can. Oh, we're integrating aspects of other levels now. Oh, uh, we're really integrating aspects of other levels now. I'm gonna have to save my dash for that, I see that. You don't think I don't. Um, We're really integrating aspects of other levels now. Get flung. Move up. Alright. The name of the game. Ah, uh, God, why? Whatever. We have two dashes every crystal we get. Um, this is gonna be so. Oh, jeez. I hope you're ready for a full hour special. Hey, the bird. Oh, I'm gonna mess up at the last part. Watch me mess up at the last part. What was I talking about? Anyways, yeah, Skywalker Saga. Seems like it's gonna be really funny. I always love the the Lego game humor. I've never not loved Lego game humor, right? It you just can't go wrong with a with a oh jeez with you know the Lego games. It's impossible they don't miss like Studio Trigger or um I don't know my mom with the belt. <laughs> Or a wooden spoon, maybe. <laughs> yeah, everybody in the audience, raise your hand if your parents beat you as a kid. I stole that one direct. I was watching like earlier today, literally. It's a bad run. Let's see here. I hope uh, everybody knows that by beatings, I mean like uh, 
punishment and not like actually being beat, you know. I f find that in my mind there is in fact a difference. I am not sure what the difference was there though. Um, unfortunately, I have uh, relatively new knowledge, right, that ruins the term spanking for me entirely, so I will never spank my children. Why did I have to say that on my freaking? Uh, I hope you all know that I really feel very comfortable when I'm sitting here by myself in a room alone. Um, and careful enough to record myself saying the stupidest things imaginable. Seriously, I really like how that guy sent me, like, flying for two miles the first time, and now he's, like, skimping on freaking cab fare. Jeez. There we go, except not, I guess. Yeah, I, I hit him a bit too on the side, huh? Whatever. I also do like how these are, at best, homages to the other levels, because... Like, that's that's their little homage to level 1, is just the, the fact that they had that at the start. And these exist here. That's it. Pretty funny if you if you ask me. Just <laughs> I am the comedy expert. All right. I just find it funny that like they decided. I know for this last one, let's add aspects of every other level. And what they came up with was let's just put the the thematic blocks in at all include them just just to include them that's kind of what it looks like I'm not gonna lie oh god okay I really needed to wait more for that I am glad that the thing that I did worked out the way that it did because I wasn't expecting that skipping the one circle guy was going to work out as well as it apparently did Oh jeez. Nope. <laughs> Just completely overshot it. Alright. Um, I'm honestly surprised at how well I'm getting myself to talk about literally nothing. Um, yeah. Though I am, of course, leaving a bunch of errs and uhs in here. Like I am freaking President John F. Kennedy. Good old Jonathan Fortnite Kennedy. What an open-minded fella. God, I love terrible jokes. I'm going to hell. In fact, I'm going to go there right now. Do you want me to say anything to your grandparents <laughs> while I'm in hell? Anyways. That was a bit off-color, huh? Is anything off color for me? Honestly, is is there anything that's actually indicative of my personality? I feel like I kind of bounce around a lot, and uh, therefore there is nothing that can be properly denoted as like specifically mine. Come on! God dang! All right. <sighs> I'm still honestly enjoying this a bit better than the third screen of Summit Seaside, just because I'm actually making a bit of progress, as opposed to Summit Seaside, where I wasn't making any progress. And hey, they can't make me... well, I guess they're going to make me dash a bunch in quick succession anyways, but you know, they wouldn't be able to do that without like having a very clearly defined path for me. I hate these things so much. Just because. Actually, hold up. I know I made the comment about them including things from other levels, but where's the Celestial Resort um, block, huh? Where's the one thing that's from Celestial Resort, eh? Did you forget about your pal Oshiro? Come on, couldn't you have a couple, you know, quickly moving hitboxes just thrown in for fun? That would make the level so much better. I'm sure I would be having just like... Uh, the same good time I had at the beginning of the, the, the summit seaside. Okay. 
That was more what I was looking for, but not quite. At a steeper angle, hopefully. Um, but I may have just shot myself in the foot at how quickly I actuated that. No, not quite. Dang. I, I was honestly hoping that it would be able to send me all the way back to the first one, just because that would be convenient, huh? But no, no, impossible. God, that's another wacky thing. I haven't been able to do that at a consistent pace. Well, I have, but I wasn't, because I jump off the first block too quick sometimes. But I feel like the difference is in the way that I do that. I honestly am getting to a... Oh, shit. <laughs> that was the easy part. Come on, me. That block that I just jumped off of. Sometimes I jump off it sooner rather than later, and then I end up shooting myself in the foot right here, where I'm already cutting it close. Jesus, dude. That actually sucks. Like, honestly, if they just... Like what I just did there. Um, if they just removed the circular fellas from the game and made some things impassable, I would be having more fun. If the game was impossible, but those things didn't exist, I would have more fun with it. But, um, yeah. Whatever. Matt Makes Games, you sure did make a game. I can qualify it as the title of game, yeah? It does qualify as a game. I don't actually remember. I guess it's it's extremely okay games. See, I had it back when it was Matt Makes Games, and it didn't crash when I opened it. Um, which doesn't happen too often anymore, but it still happens occasionally in, enough times, you know. And then when I beat a level, the game crashes. It honestly might just be my computer, but, you know. I, there's a guy I work with that was making fun of me for owning a, a pre-built, or as I call it, a normal computer. Um, yeah, I didn't build my laptop. Who could have guessed? I'm not gonna lie, I don't even have like a monitor, so... It would have been a bit difficult to, uh... Also, I have to like take a laptop to classes and stuff. That would have been difficult with a, uh, a, a custom PC, a pre, uh, a build my own PC, yeah. Don't think I would have been able to do that one. <laughs> I guess I could have, but it would have been a whole heck of a lot more crap to lug around. I'm fine with my little laptop that, I mean, I can hardly play Lego Star Wars on. So long as I don't have to lug around a freaking box. You know, and if I got any more computers, I would have three of them, and I don't need three, especially when the second one is still relatively new. And by relatively, I mean a year old, which is pretty dang good. Pretty dang new for a computer. It ain't ten years old, which means it's still on par with whatever is being made. Um, not the highest of quality because we weren't gonna pay for the highest of quality. I'm not gonna lie, I don't need the highest of quality, friends. You see what I'm playing right now. <laughs> oh jeez, this again. Well, that was a trip. I went too far over. Okay. I know I joked about this being full hour special. This is gonna be a four hour special. Pop, pop Schoolhouse Rock on in the background, because this we're going to be here for four hours. God, I hate this. I just did the same thing twice. I somehow consistently am doing the wrong thing. Which, I mean, based on the number of deaths I have so far, is pretty apparent that I am consistently doing the wrong thing. But I did consistently the same wrong thing, which is really my point. It's kind of interesting that that happened, eh? Darn. That was close. I was at work the other night, right? And one of my co-workers says, Hey, you know that guy Nico Avocado? And I was like, yeah, I guess. And he's like, you see his Twitter leaks? I'm like, no, I, I don't want to. But then he like calls our manager over 
And he asks her the same question, and he's like, yeah, you see these guys? And I'm our freaking manager! I'll have you know, also, I work in a food place, so this is even made even better, probably, by that. Our freaking manager goes like, oh, yeah, I have... I'm like, I don't need to be talking about this 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 large fella's, um, in at work, and I work in food. Alright. I prepare food, fellas. That is Ah God, I'm I'm gonna start I'm gonna start looking like that fella. Doesn't he like scream in every video he makes or something? I don't know about every single one. I would too. I'm unhappy. I am also um, unhappy with myself at my current stage in life. Uh, I'm not gonna speak for the man though, I have no idea what his the deal is, I'm not gonna lie. All I know is that he's a very large fella, and he wasn't a very large fella, what, like, two years ago? Um, god, let's see, my grandfather was kinda like that. Um, it's kind of a sad story, honestly. My, um, my grandmother, she... So, I think it's a genetic thing in my family that... On my mother's side, the men, or specifically my mom's mom's side, men in her family carried MS, and it would be passed to the women. Um, so, hopefully I don't give my daughter MS, but um, on the off chance I give my daughter MS, daughter, if you're watching this, HA! No, um, but... Uh, yeah, hopefully I do not give my daughter MS. It would suck if I gave my daughter MS. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on! How did I slip past that when I'm holding down the grab button? But, yeah, when my, um, grandma got MS, or, like, finally... I don't know, succumbed isn't the right word, but started, like, actually not doing things anymore. Uh, my mom was pretty sure my grandfather was gonna, like, eat himself to death. Uh, just... I don't know. He... he's never seemed like the kind of guy that really wants to have to take care of someone. But, I mean, he's not a bad guy. He takes great care of his wife, and, I mean, they've lasted longer than my parents did in terms of being married, so... But, I'm... I mean, I... The fact that, that my grandmother lives in a wheelchair and um, everything that comes with that probably couldn't help any kind of case for a divorce. Especially in the world that they lived in where you would actually have to have a reason to divorce someone. So, yeah. Not so sure. And at this point, they have grandchildren. There's not too much point in getting divorced in your 60s. And I don't, I don't know that there would be too much point even in your 50s. Seems a bit late in the game. Well, I guess, you know, my parents got divorced in their 40s. Yeah, oh well. I guess 40s does sound about right. That's the, that's, I feel like that's another kind of like chrysalis stage in life where you're changing into other things. And then if you and your partners well, then again, my <laughs> my parents kind of had issues from the start, it sounds like. Or, like, these are things that, if they had thought about it, it would have been apparent. But, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I, I know that you don't... Please! Okay. You don't exactly think to think about some things when you're in love with someone. My problem is that I'm really wondering how exactly my mom fell in love with my dad. Because I'm not sure... I don't know. I never asked them, and I don't really plan on it, because, I mean, they've been divorced for a couple years, and that's a really odd question to ask someone who's divorced. Like, hey, how did you fall into that love that... See, how did you fall in love with that guy that you can't stand being around now, you know? Um... <laughs> But, like, from my understanding of my father, he was, like, really lame. <laughs> I think he's a pretty cool guy now, and, I mean, I've got his same, like, seductive, beautiful blue eyes, you know. I'm 
don't think too hard about how I just called my dad's eyes seductive, alright? It's, um, more of, more of an, not an observation, an objective standard than a, uh, uh subjective observation on my part, alright? These are facts, trust me. But, I, I, like, the, the, the longer and longer I've known my mom, the more, I guess that might be it. My mom used to be less professional in every degree. Yeah, that probably is it. My mom has been working, my mom has been working, like, non-stop for f four years. And it's kind of hard to get that image of someone out of your head when they just work and work work. And don't get me wrong, that's not all she does. She keeps herself fit and, and stuff like that. But she works a whole heck of a lot. You know, and it's kind of sad to watch. There we go. But, um, I don't know about sad to watch is really the... Crap. It's... It's just the kind of thing where, like, um, I think I've talked about this even on Celeste before. Sometimes, yeah, there being my mom, she's like my insurance broker. Like, I don't need to be my insurance broker, I need to be my mother. And it's kind of hard. Well, I don't, I don't know if I've ever actually succeeded in dragging her out of insurance broker mode, but it would be, I, I'd imagine it would be hard to drag her out of that. Because um, that's what she does professionally, but I can understand why she gets like that. It's because it's what she does professionally, and she has worked nonstop for four years. Um, so whatever. It's the kind of person that my mom is now. That she, it, thank God, wasn't when I was growing up, because I would be a severely dysfunctional child if that was my mom growing up. But same time, if she was like that. When she was young, then she evidently never would have been with my father because they don't like each other now, and um, it's it's just kind of sad to think about, I guess. But I wouldn't back that onto my mom. My it's it's funny though because there there are there are not few, but just a couple things my mom will readily admit about my father in terms of just some of the ways that he is and some positive, some are more neutral. I guess that's kind of why I would use the word as young. It's not that she hates him, right? It's more indifference, the true opposite of love there, but it's... it's... <laughs> Like, she's, um, she'll, she'll say probably before a lot of other people that he's a brilliant engineer, which is nice. I'm glad that I'm the product of two brilliant engineers. Super brilliant engineer myself, hopefully. If I can figure out what frickin' kind of mech -y I want to actually do. Save that. Um, but other than that... There were times when she'd say stuff about, like, he is very consistent. So, if you ever figure out what it is that'll, like, piss off my dad, it'll be the same every time. My dad is extremely consistent. And that, that's really good. I'd say, honestly, it's, it's good and bad. I try to attack as much reasoning from my childhood as possible into the reason that I can't deal with some people and that may be one of the reasons that I can't deal with some people specifically people that are not consistent because um, well I had a dad that was very consistent and I always knew what to tick him off right so I knew what not to do and well some people it's not consistent but anyways that's not really the point main idea is I don't know my father is the one that has changed since whenever maybe but kind of doubtful but I mean it's just kind of how people are I guess we change shit I died okay. 
thinking that it's something that we every now and again. But yeah. I like that about my dad, honestly. But I don't know. There there are honestly some things to set him off that are kinda wacky, but hey, at least I know what they are, you know. I am not having a good time anymore. Can I can I do this another time? <laughs> can I finish this like tomorrow or something? I started this really late at night and I feel kinda dumb about it now and I'm legitimately like getting auditory hallucinations thinking that somebody's opening my door and I would actually be kinda pissed if somebody if my roommate walked through that door right now because I'm this far already and I think I mentioned this last episode where um, if I if I have to like edit out a lot I'm gonna feel bad about it being the latter portion because I mean it's it's all stuff that I've actually gotten good at instead of being the stuff that I'm garbage at I really gotta... How did I do that the first time? I don't trust the momentum in this game anymore, especially when it comes to actually landing on the, the horizontal springboards. But, yeah. God, that's a new one. Sheesh. I guess I'm just gonna have to trust it. Um, but hell, I've... I've talked at length probably more than anyone else about the way that this game handles um, some things like um, holding a button direction so who knows like I figured I would do that but on the last one you know? So yeah, let's let's try not to do that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what I was talking about um, before now. It's not that I actually forgot, but I'm not sure what I could say that is actually relevant to what I was talking about. So I'm trying to figure out how to turn on the mumble mode in um, in the Star Wars Skywalker Saga, right? Because I want to do that, but at the same time, I don't really care. I was playing it while listening to a podcast earlier, so I didn't have any of like the music or the vocals. If the vocals are well recorded, I think I might be fine, because there's still enough like visual humor that it's not like completely lost. Because I felt honestly that in gameplay Force Awakens was a, a relatively humorless game. It was only in the cutscenes and I mean it's a Lego game. I don't think you should only have humor in the cutscenes I guess. But I mean I guess that's kind of the same with how this is Skywalker Saga has started. I'm trying to think. No I guess not because you you start out in a level that has beach troopers. I always love seeing beach troopers. You know, they're so tantalizing and, and buff and all that. You know, who who would who wouldn't like seeing a beach trooper? Honestly, what are you <laughs> what are you um not confident enough in your in the way that you feel about people that you could look at a, a big buff half naked man and, and just feel general admiration? Anyways. Why do I have to say things like this um, on what will eventually be on a public forum? For, for entertainment, of course. I do it for you, the people. Uh, it's the real reason I need to stop talking is that every time I start talking, that the the sound of the bricks falling sounds like a key turning in a lock to me now when I'm talking. God, I swear. It legitimately sounds like my door is being opened when I when that sound plays. 
Watch, I'm like he's he's gonna actually walk in, and I'm gonna be saying that, and he'll like say something, and then I'll still have to cut it out because I don't want him in the video. There we go. Oh boy. Okay. I think the lava was a bit high, anyways, but dear God, I made it. All right. And I, mean, of course, whiff on what the fourth block. Sheesh. But yeah. Ah, jeez. I really. I'm not sure how to do that part consistently. Um, it's a wacky thing. I really should not do too many video makings on Tuesdays. I'm making this on a Tuesday, by the way. It's um the Tuesday the week before it comes out. And it's just because I've been doing nothing all day. I really don't do anything on Tuesdays anymore. I used to have a lab. There's a class that I don't go to and what used to be a lab, but we run out of labs at the end of the semester, so I just do nothing on Tuesdays. And my Thursdays are the same, but I at least like work on Thursday. Tuesday I don't even have work, so I just sit here and do nothing. I went to the gym, but I did that a lot earlier than I normally do. And I wasn't like I have super weak upper body and I was doing a push day. So, I was a bit disappointed on how little I could do in terms of weight and how little I could do in terms of actual lady like repping the weight that I did do. Um, and I guess just how little I could do in terms of time because I wanted to keep it thematic because I'm weird and wacky. I might just have... Motherfucker, jeez. I might just have two days that I do that, though. Okay, Jesus. Because otherwise I will not really get anywhere with it, I don't think. Also, it was cold this morning and now it's like boiling hot in here. In my room, where there's AC running. But I'm also wearing sweatpants, so I'm sure that doesn't help. Alright, this should be a good... I'll stall a bit here, but I can't stall for too long because of the springboard. That sucks! What the hell? That sucks so much! That's just like, it's... It's an area with so little going on that has so much to do with when exactly you hit the... I hate that so much. Again, literally just remove the circular things. Um, it's an area that has little going on in terms of stalling time, so a lot of it deals in when exactly you entered it with reference to where the, the death sections are on the screen. And god, I mean, the ability to stall... I'm actually going to fucking scream. That pisses me off at this point, because I... Okay. Remove them! Remove them from the game! Dear God, just replace them with literally anything else! Something that is actually consistent. That is my, like, I'm actually just gonna cut it down to that one thing. That is my one complaint with this game, is these circular motherfuckers. I hate them so much. Actually, my one problem with this game. Like, there is nothing else with which I have such an issue as the circular things. I hate them so much. 
There is no other way to make amends with me than to complete. You see what I mean, though, about this section? And now I kind of have to. Like, that is extremely tight. Any other way. If I go in at, like, a perfect time. And I'm not sure what the perfect time is going to be. I can linger on the third floor. I will not have enough momentum to get up to this one. Okay. I'm putting that in terms of momentum because I'm not else. I'm not sure how else to describe the reason. God, can I just can I just like take every instance of those things out and shove them up my ass instead? Because evidently the game wants to fuck me with them every single time. Is this interesting now? Huh? Is this an interesting playthrough now? And I'm and I'm getting mad. <laughs> I was watching a lot of Professor lately, alright? I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. Um, did you know that's- I thought- I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought his name was Poofsher. But I heard him actually say it. In- It was like a modded Mario Kart video. Poofesher. It's the wackiest way of saying it I've ever heard. But, I mean, I've only ever actually heard myself and the man himself say it, so... Anyone's guess who the authority is on that one, that question, that line of questioning, yeah. Uh, yep. What else can I talk about? Uh, you know, I should, I should put sections on this video in terms of what I'm talking about. That would be so fun, and quirky, and something that nobody has ever done before. God, have you ever seen a video with sections? I sure haven't. Totally have not. I want to kill myself. <laughs> yep. Uh. Yeah. I might. I might do that. Well, then I would have to go through and, like, timestamp when I start talking about different things. And I don't want to do that, so maybe not. That is a really close one. It's also, I'm not sure how close they are intending it to be. It's the Celeste staff. I know that they want it to be close, but I'm not sure how close, you know? Okay. You know, I might actually be wanting to. I'll I'll show you what I'm trying to, th what I th am thinking about trying. It might work out a bit better because it doesn't have any stalling. And since I've gotten past that section, it should work out. Should have stalled a bit more on that one block, but it doesn't matter. I made it. I haven't failed on this guy in a little while. You'll see. Um, what? Oh boy! I really like the fact that the block evidently saw me hit the corner, which is why it fell. I don't know if they fall if you hit the spikes, or if they just kills you. Evidently, I was close enough that the block fell. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Not gonna lie. Okay, I, that was just me being stupid. <laughs> I'll admit that much. But, yeah, that was a fun interaction, wasn't it? I'm also probably doing too many diagonals right there. I only need the first one to be diagonal, and then I'm... But wasn't I, wasn't I having problems with the second one, the third one being diagonal? Well, hey, here's a, here's a solution, yeah? How about that, yeah? Who could have seen that one coming? Okay. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna try and do. Didn't work. Did not work well. Alright, never mind then. 
I'm glad that I wasted that. Um, because now I'm not gonna... Not gonna do it again. I guess it wasn't a waste then if I'm not gonna do it again, huh? God, I'm still not sure why that happens sometimes and not others. Whatever. Not my circus, not my monkeys. I'm not gonna worry about it. Ka-chow! Crap. Ah, I'm too used to trying to get proper forward momentum off the springs, and that's not jumping off them properly. Or, I guess, no, I mean, I more mean trying to turn around while I'm on them. Kind of like what I do with the fun bumper circular mother peckers, because those are so fun to w work with, you know? I do think that this is a bit faster, so stick with that. Fun! But I try and start with some momentum in the direction I want to go as I hit them. So I try turning around in air. A little angry to do that. You catch if you're paying very close attention. Like that! That was a complete failure of momentum right there, and it's because I was facing the wrong direction, I want to say. And that falls into when exactly I start turning around just to make sure that my animation is facing the right direction, but not far enough away to miss on the hitbox. Isn't that fun, huh? Especially with the, the amount of space that is taken up on screen by... It's about to call her Celeste. By Madeline. <laughs> I was about to say something that would... that would actually get me cancelled. Like, not even just... Not, not even... Not, not even, um... Not even, oh, I'm gonna get cancelled, teehee, oh, Girl Scout cookies are bad. You know, like, actually be crucified levels of not depravity but too true you know this pick goes so hard feel free to screenshot that kind of that kind of statement you know um i would have died immediately they would have killed me and my entire family right um gosh dang it I really need to wait a little bit for that one anyways, because otherwise I will die. So let's just try and stall there as long as possible. And hopefully that works out. I didn't get that, but I still survived for a little bit. You know what I was doing? I was checking behind my shoulder to make sure that my roommate didn't actually unlock and come through the door right just now, because I heard it again. I'm going insane. <laughs> going. What you, mean? you know what I might be able to do to make this even faster is um would I overshoot the okay I'm not even gonna try actually I don't need to make this faster I just need to make it actually happen I'm already losing in the speedrun categories about I died once I lost None, nevertheless, the other 3,000 times I've died in this game, yeah. The fact that I died once means I lost on the speedrun, alright? And the fact that I... it took time to find strawberries. And the fact that I hadn't played this game before. And... I don't know, the fact that I'm not... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I... God... This is the kind of block that I hit with the summit level, where I stop making progress and instead progress backwards, aka getting worse, as we call it in the biz. Um, I'm no longer going forward. I'm going backwards. And this means that any further time I spend on this will be reinforcing negative action. Or maybe I'll get lucky. 
Yep. That's what we're gaming on. It's a gamble, fellas. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a freaking gamble as to whether or not I make it. Like this. Dear God. I forgot that those did that. Oh my lord, I was like, yeah, this is wacky. They just give us this place to stand? No, they don't. These, they fall away like every other platform in this game. Oh, that was a new one. I just went under it. Okay. I knew that was going to work. Uh, not going to work. I mean, the second it happened, I really got to start just retrying instantly so that I can s shave off a few um, minutes uh, overall off the length of the video that I spend doing something after I know it's going to fail. Like right there. I think um, that I didn't actually retry there and I ended up dying instead, so, you know, whatever. But whatever. Shut up and be wrong or whatever. There we go. See, look at how much faster that was than just dying. If I do that over the course of the 10 million times I'm going to die on this level, I'll have shaved off a full um, good amount of time off of the recording, and then I won't have to sit for an hour and a half. What the heck just happened? Um, well, my hour and a half long recording renders. It's already an hour long video, I think. I started this around 8. It's now 9. This is like one of those... I hate this so much. You know that cooking video where they're like... We're making brownies? We started this at 10. And it's now midnight. And all is for a stupid cooking tutorial. And this is the part in the video where they drop the glass dish of brownies. I My glass dish of brownies in my brain has been dropped. I am not making any further progress on this. But I might get lucky. Whoa! That, I think, was a wave dash off of a moving object and not at all my intention. Um, okay, that snapped me awake. Alright. Let's... I'm not gonna try and do that again, but it'd be funny if it happened again. Eight the bumper! Remove it! Can I get a mod that takes those things out of the game? Please! I swear, I'll, t I'll take a modded run at this point. Siege! Get him out of here! Ah! Actually losing my mind over those things. I've, 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 I've had it up to here with them. I was like, I hope this is the last time I see you frickers. But no! But no! I had to see him just one more time! Well, you know what? This one more time, I'm gonna give you a piece of my mind. The bumpers are the worst part of this game. Should never have been included in the first place. Should never have been included this many times. And definitely don't need to be in the last freaking level in a mid section. This entire section is now mid because of these bumpers. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. Dear God. They have eyes. Um, that means that they're creatures. Creatures on which we could, if we wanted to, commit some form of war crime. Um, therefore, I am calling for the war crime-ing of all Celeste bumper-looking thingies. Get rid of them, I swear. Just take them out. I want them gone. When I come back, they better not still be here. I'm gonna count to three, alright? And then the Celeste bumpers will be out of my life, alright? One... They're still here. I'm... I, I said! I said I wanted them gone, and they're still here. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very disappointed right now. That uh, the, the bumpers are still in the game. I'm, 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 
this just this just not this is not it I've died on this for two minutes straight just the bumpers okay that was a new one but just the bumpers just the freaking bumpers get them out of here I swear <laughs> uh, I don't even know man I feel like I could get to the end if I could just got back to that section that I got to that one time but I also feel like I'm not even gonna make it that far because I can't even get past these freaking bumpers one more time it's all about luck this is why I wouldn't be able to even edit this because I'm I would be not speaking up until I got to that point I got to here, and then it would be luck whether or not I hit that crystal on that arc. And then, or if I did it the way that it's intended to do, just haven't been doing, I guess. You know, <laughs> silly me! I'm supposed to hit it like this and then do that! Ho ho ho! It's all so clear to me now how I'm supposed to do that consistently instead. Of course. How could I have been so foolish? But yeah, I think I might have it now. Which would be really great, but we all know it's not actually going to happen that way. The lava is a lot lower than it normally is now, huh? I hate myself. Uh, these... the weird, fun, like, bulb, light bulb movements if that makes any sense. The ones where you kind of bow outwards and around and back in. I hate them. I dislike them in this game. Not as much as having to deal with the bumpers, but I dislike having to do that in this game. Especially when there are spikes nearby adding the element of you have to actually be accurate with that to it. Because just not the funnest thing in the world. It's 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 kind of whatever honestly it's not the worst uh, adder of difficulty it's just one of the more dumb ones that I feel like you could just not do that and it would be fine you would have to honestly I think you actually probably would have to like legitimately change some of the ways the game is made for that to not happen in some of the places that it does but for this one up here you could just like I don't know move the spikes not have them there. I get why they're there because, you know, we love spikes. God, I love areas that kill me. But, like, seriously. This is super fun. Here's what we do, right? Aha! Uh -huh, ha 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 ha! Woo! Yeah, I love jumping right off of things. Heck yeah. What I maybe could have done is instead of crawling, wall crawl, I just called it a crawl. Instead of um, climbing, I maybe could have like jump climbed instead. Which is a redundant instead. I said instead twice in that sentence in the exact same context. So that was unnecessary, and therefore would not fly in a formal paper. Get your notebooks out. You can tell I'm getting more and more deranged as the episode goes on, right? Just in case you couldn't, I'm going to add a little note here where it says, I'm, I'm in fact getting more and more deranged as this episode goes on. Hey, I'm getting quicker at that, you right? Hey, yeah? Everybody, give me a, give me a. Big old pat on the back, I really need it right now. How far in are we? In terms of time? What, an hour? An hour at least? We've gotta be an hour in now! It might be. I'd actually feel bad if this was an hour long. But, I've made enough jokes about it being an hour long already, so, you know, may as well. I just feel kind of dumb about it now, yeah? And then I'll die here. Or not. I probably could have stalled there a little bit. 
and maybe had better well this is as fine as it normally is so that's all right Ooh, that was a close one that was a close one <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Ah, jeez. Yeah. I'm just seeing if I can't, like, shut up and be better. That would be cool, right? You heard the tapping sound, right? That's what I heard, and then I fell off the block anyways when I dashed, despite the fact that it was one of the blocks you can dash through, so I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure why that happened in the way that it did, but I'm not going to worry too much about it because I still got to this section um, well enough. About as well as I normally do, you know? Like I said. Oh, wah, 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 wah. Lava is high as usual. I die as usual. It even rhymes, which means that it is an absolute truth. Not sure how to change that, except, you know, minute differences in when I stall and when I don't. My favorite things to have to change in this game, such as minutiny. Minutiae? Yeah. God, I love how variable this game is in when things are appropriate to happen. Ah. You know what? I'm gonna cut this up into two parts. Yeah, I'm, this is a part one. I sat here for like an hour, man. I'm gonna cut out some of what I what was said I guess because I didn't really I didn't really do much um, and I guess I'll have some stuff playing now just so that I actually have something to talk over but uh, yeah part one of the epic series finale of Celeste um, coming at you next week, part two, where I probably just do the exact same thing. I'm not going to lie to you. This is kind of why I would feel bad about actually cutting it up into two parts, and I'm kind of hoping that I like suddenly magically beat the level. But at the same time, we all know that's not going to happen. So, um, once this uh, ends, I guess that'll be it, right? Uh, right. Actually, this is looking better than when I normally go in. No, it's not. Actually, the lava is a lot higher. See, look at how high that lava is. God, I hate that so much. I hate that motion. I really don't like it. Uh, ew. Anyways, that'll be all for today. Till next time, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will toss you into lava and or icicles, depending on what the switches flips to be. Yup. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.